we want to add the following signed decimals. Looking at our first example, we have negative eight plus positive 2.9, so we're adding numbers with different signs. Before we go over the formal rules, though, we should recognize that this negative is going to outweigh the positive, resulting in a negative sum. The formal rules for adding numbers with different signs are we want to subtract the absolute values of the numbers, and we're always going to subtract the smaller from the larger, and then we'll use the sign of the original number with the larger absolute value. So again, going back to this example, the absolute value of negative eight is positive eight, and the absolute value of positive 2.9 is positive 2.9. But now because the original numbers have different signs, we're going to subtract. We'll subtract the smaller from the larger, so we're going to have eight minus 2.9. And notice when writing this vertically, we do want to line up the corresponding place values. We probably also want to put a decimal point here and a zero in the tenths place value. Now I'll bring the decimal point down into our difference and subtract as we normally would. Notice how we have to borrow from the eight. So this would be 10 minus nine, that's one, and seven minus two is five. So even though this difference is positive 5.1, we know this sum has to be negative. So the sum is actually negative 5.1. And we know it's negative for two reasons. The formal rule says to use the original sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Well, eight is larger than 2.9, which came from the negative eight. But it should make sense that negative is outweighing the positive, resulting in a negative sum. In the second example, we're adding two numbers with the same sign. They're both negative. And again, it should make sense if we add two negatives you can think of this as two losses. The result is still going to be a loss or another negative. The formal rules say to add numbers with the same sign, now we're going to add the absolute values of the numbers, but then we want to use the original sign of the numbers. Well, the absolute value of negative 4.58 would be positive 4.58, and the absolute value of negative 2.976 is positive 2.976. Again, because the original numbers have the same sign, we're going to add these this time instead of subtract. So we'll have 4.58 plus 2.976. We may want to put an extra zero here, bring the decimal down into our sum, and now we'll add as we normally do. So we have 6, 15, carry a 1, 15, carry a 1, and then we have 7. But remember, we want to use the original sign, so the sum is actually negative 7.556, or negative seven and 556 thousandths. So sometimes adding sign decimals can be a little bit tricky, but if you take your time and follow these rules, I hope you understand why this works.